Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we're gonna be making the uh, ornaments that you see everyone making with polycrylic. So you need the Minwax polycrylic. You can see I've had this for years. It looks brand new on the inside. I've used like this much of it. Um, so a, a lot, a little goes a long ways. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so I wanna do that. I wanna try a different um, filling. I wanna try the faux snow from Dollar Tree because it's got that different texture. And then I also wanted to try to do gold flakes on it because I just did a wedding acrylic sign and I am in love with the gold flakes. I kind of want to fancy up my ornaments and see what that looks like. So let's get started. Um, I do have a little syringe because I feel like with the polycrylic, it's a lot easier to deal with um, dropping it in like this. So I'm just going to fill up my syringe and I'm gonna drop in a little bit more into this first one. So, and then I'm gonna put this to the side. And you see when it's full like this, it's just easier to coat it. And then we'll let it drip in a second. And I, so you can even shake it up. So you can um, like plug it. I'm not a big fan of getting it like on my skin. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, okay, so it's all around, right? And then I'm just gonna drop it into, oh, I can drop it back in. And then what I end up doing is I'll put like um, on this thing, I'll put my paper towel here and I'm gonna let it drip out because if it's too wet, your stuff won't stick to it so we're gonna do this i'm gonna put it over here let it kind of drip out a little bit we'll do the next one so i'm gonna record it on here i'm gonna pull this in and we'll do the next one so with these it's kind of nice to do them a few at a time because while one is um, swirling one is drying out um, so it's kind of nice and plus I never really have this out so I do it all at one time except for <laughs> except for this time because I'm doing this tutorial and then I'm gonna figure out all my vinyl and stuff I haven't quite decided now um, if you're gonna do the gold flakes that will give you um, a little bit of room for error because the top part doesn't have to be perfectly sealed, right? It doesn't have to have the whole thing covered. All right, so here we go. And you see it's gonna pool right there. So we're gonna have to like turn your bowl back and forth a little bit. So we're gonna do that one. I'm gonna put it over here to let it dry out. Ooh. All right, let's do this last one. I've pulled this up a little bit. Oh, that one fell out again. All right. A lot going on right here. So let me try. Okay, so this one. This one needs a lot more. It's a lot of space in there. So these are a lot of fun. You can put, um, I would use adhesive vinyl. I mean, as much as I love HTV and I use HTV on a lot of things, uh, these little guys, I would not want to put any heat to it. So, oh man, this is taking a while. But I'm excited to put the gold flakes on there because the gold flakes are so easy to work with. I had no idea, so um, I just recently ordered them and used them for a few projects and I absolutely love them. All right. 
so let's make sure all these corners are filled up. All right, so now they're gonna go to the bottom and then we're gonna have to swirl around to make sure that bottom is coated. And it looks like it's getting coated. There, okay. So now I'm swirling. It's almost like playing that game you got to get it all the way into the hole to drip out. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put this one over here. Okay. And now we're going to swirl these around to get it to drip out. So while it's dripping out, I'm going to close this back up. Oh, you know what? We have one more. Let's do one more. It is a lot harder to get out than you would think. <laughs> so I'm going to turn that off for a second. So if you uh, look through my blog post, um, I've done the Grinch face. Um, I've taken my daughter's handwriting so that I can document her writing her name. Before she was able to write her name, I had her draw with a Sharpie. And so I captured a drawing on an ornament, just in vinyl. It was like a stick drawing. Um, so there's so many ideas if you, you know, are big on keepsakes and stuff like that, which I am. Okay, so this is, I'm going to roll this around. Give me a second. I'm going to put this one down over here. Okay, I'm going to close this up. And I really should hammer this down. Every year that I close this up, it's like less and less being closed up. <laughs> okay. So there's still a lot in here. I would say that's what takes the longest because you saw how quick it was to coat it, but to actually get it dripped out you have to swirl it a little bit. And I want this to come out. Okay. It's like you got to shake it to get it into that middle spot and then for it to come out. This is what I'm going to do. Shaking it, getting it out. And you can see it's coming out a lot, but there's a lot in there. I know, trying to do two things at one time. So um, I'm super excited to try the the globe, the, the faux snow globe. So I'm gonna put this down. Let's see where we are with this one. Okay. This one looks pretty dry. So there's just a little bit more. Some more. 
while it's doing that, I'm going to get this ready. So this is the, the fake snow. I'm going to get my spoon that I use for this. Okay. All right, you ready? So we're gonna put fake snow in. Oh, you know what? This is way too thin. We need a little funnel. So I'm gonna do it with uh, scrap paper. Gonna roll up a little funnel. Ah, it unrolled on me. Hold on. Rolling up my funnel. There. Ooh. Started to unravel. So this is from the Dollar Tree. I'm actually gonna stock up because I've only seen it during the winter time, um, but it makes for great confetti uh, when you're, oh! That did not work very well. <laughs> okay, so let's see what this looks like. It actually looks really pretty. It looks like snow. All right, on the fan. Let's get a little bit more in there. My funnel got holy. All right, I'm gonna hold it in and then I'm gonna shake it this time. Good thing this doesn't cost that much. All right, I'm gonna hold it. It's got that frosty look, which I love. And I'll show you in a second. So you can either keep some in there so that it's gonna like shake like snow. I really, I really love the way this looks. Okay. So now let's on this one. Hold on, let's get the rest of this out. I move this to the side. Oh geez, it's a hot mess going on over here. <laughs> All right, let's put, and you need to let it dry before you stick this thing in, okay? But the cool thing is I'm gonna put gold flakes around there, so on the outside, so I think that will help us with um, making sure that it doesn't flake off. But the other nice thing is also the way this looks, there are like, it just looks like snow came down. I absolutely love this one. All right, so I'm gonna open this up. The smell in here is like toxic. <laughs> it smells good. It's like one of those things where you used to sniff, you know, but um, I know it's bad for you. All right, what did I do? Oh, here's my paintbrush. All right, so let's do this. And the nice thing with gold flakes is that the flakes are gonna just kind of um, adhere. And so like, you don't need to put this down. It's just gonna adhere how it adheres. So it looks really, really natural. I don't know how else to explain that, okay?
and then I pat it down, it gets flat. But you see how it doesn't like, there's no um, particular shape, so it looks really natural. So you kind of just put it down, I pat it around, and you can always add more if you want to, but I think I'm done. So there you have it. All right, so let me stop that. And then you can easily put down a date, a name. I don't know, I really like it. This side looks a little bare. I'm gonna go back and put a little bit more there. expensive <laughs> all right so that's down I'm gonna close this up um, let's see if we can get more glitter in these little guys so it's still going and you know the thing is it's just gonna sit at the bottom so you do need to get it out but man it's taking a long time I think it was easier to get it like this, so it gets it right in the middle and it's coming down. Not a bad exercise for your arms while we're at it. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna try these flakes. These are like chunky. I'm gonna see if that works, okay? So let's see if we can get this out enough. And I also want this one to kind of like, um, be moving around so I like the noise that it makes I don't know is that weird okay all right let's try this one these are too small okay um, I'm gonna put it down right here I have a lot of cleaning up to do after this all right make your funnel Don't let it pop out. It's the paper that I used. I'll get it in a second. Okay. Let me put all this stuff away before. All right. So funnel. And I keep my hand down right there. Oh, this is like a disco ball. I love this one. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty that is. It looks like it needs more, okay. We're gonna put more in. All right, let's go. I'm so bad at this funnel stuff. <laughs> okay. So I can hear it. dump it out okay so there you have it this one's really pretty so I'm loving the chunky look so here are the two all right let's try to get this one and then we can go with the regular what everyone um, what you see a lot which is the fine glitter and I'll get you mine from last year 
I think I still have them around somewhere. I don't know if I put it away with my Christmas stuff. Um, let me see if I even have any of my glitter right here. I don't. I just have my black one. Which, I guess we could do black. Okay, so here is mine. Oh man. Hold on. I don't think I'm going to be able to get out that, you know, the styrofoam piece that's in there to protect it because of my carpal tunnel right now. This is just a hot mess right now. So I'm gonna try to take it out this way, which is not the recommended way because I know I'm gonna get a ton of glitter right now. So give me a second. Okay, amazingly, that was not too bad. All right. So let's create our funnel. See, it's pooling down at the bottom. I don't want that. I want it to come down and out. Come on. Okay. So let's <laughs> see how this works. And I've got that in. So I don't like the fine glitter. I'm not feeling this one. First of all, it's not sparkly enough. My choice in black probably did not help. But I didn't have any other, I just cleaned up my, my art room. I don't use glitter that much. So I actually moved out my whole glitter drawer into a box. Okay, I'm not loving this one at all. It's just boring black bulb. I mean, it has glitter. You can fix this up. Um, you know what? I might do... I might do some silver on this, like silver foil, and make it like a Raiders kind of thing. I don't know. We'll see. I think I'll do that. Okay. I'm going to go, but you saw how to do this. It's a lot of fun. Then you can personalize as much as you want. And I'm still in love with this one. This one's chunky and it looks like a disco ball. It's so pretty. And then I really like this one as well. So this is the snow inside and it's got the gold flakes on top. So it's kind of fancy. <laughs> All right. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining.